Okay, so I guess I'm going to title this one, Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire, Somebody's Burning. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. I don't know who energy this is, but this one just kind of came out the deck. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it, being I just got my message to give y'all what I get. So, first card in reverse we have, I wish I was with you instead of them. Followed by, in reverse once again, are you hiding something from me? Once again, in reverse, reach out. And then you have, it's hard. I know it's hard to trust me. And then you have STD, burning, itching, leaking. And then you have things could get ugly. So this person is a thought. <laughs> They're a thought. They get around. Um, This may be a sneaky link. This may be a past lover. This is someone you have been sexually intimate with. And... A lot of this is how they feel with inside, but at the same time, evidently you put some distance in between you and this person, and I would say that I think that you should kind of keep that distance there, because this person just have like a lot of negative karmic shit going on, and I ain't gonna even use that word, they have a lot of negative, bad, nasty shit going on, filthy shit going on. Um... My thing with them is they wish you was there instead of them, but it was with them leaving you and still messing around with other people. Multiple people is what put them in this predicament. So if you would have still been there, would you have been burning with them? You want to be burning with this person? Um, maybe you do, maybe you don't. If you do, I'm not knocking it. This is a safe haven, you know. No one's here to judge you. But, um... They wondering if you hiding something from them. They hiding this damn STD from you. Your person, if your person has been a little stagnant and never been want to be as sexually intimate with you, this is possibly why they on them antibiotics and they have not gotten cleared yet. So if they want to be sexually distant, cool. But after them being sexually distant for about two weeks, possibly seven, a week to two weeks, maybe you might want to, next time you got to do it, throw a condom on the bed say, hey. Let's put this on. Whether you're a male or a female, does not matter because um does not matter. Um, this person they want you to reach out. They're not gonna reach out to you because they got all this bullshit going on. They got enough people reaching out to them. So I don't know why they want to add you to the mix. They don't understand by dealing with so many people, this is why they are burning. Oh, somebody got a hot Cheeto puff. Or got a hot cat. <laughs> um, they said they know it's hard, you know. You don't trust them at all. And they want you to. But with all that they got going on, I see why you don't trust them. And things can get ugly. Like I said, keep your distance from this person. Whoever, whoever they dealing with, whatever they dealing with, it's going to be multiple people. Possibly y'all live in the same neighborhood or something. Everybody gonna have the same damn STD because they getting around in the same circle. This is a circle of people. Everybody gonna be burning. Everybody gonna be in the same STD clinic. The same freaking um, what you call it? That 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 fast emergency room thingy they got out there. I can't think of the name right now, but um, yeah. Better protect yourself. Wrap it up. Have safe sex. That's what I got.